So we're getting invaded right now. This is a post commentary. They were doing my red buff, so he wards over the wall. I see a ward, so I was like, wait, they're invading. And Twisted Fate moves, CCs him. I use my Ignite and we secure the kill on the Karma that flashes over the wall. So here yeah, I shouldn't have used my W on Z because now it's on cooldown. But I am level 2 here and I'm going to do Raptors. And yeah, so whilst I'm clearing these Raptors, I just want to say this is going to be an educational video. I'll be going over what I'm buying, what I'm doing, etc. So this is obviously me playing Talon Jungle. And my thoughts on Talon Jungle, I think it's very good uh, compared to mid lane in the sense that you don't have bad matchups because obviously you're PvE, you're playing against the uh, mobs in the jungle. And what that means is you actually don't have to, like, you know, do the laning phase part of Talon, which is his worst part, right? That's when he's weak. So that's the, that's the best thing. Uh, however, I do think Talon mid is just more fun. And, you know, obviously if you do pick up some kills mid lane, it becomes, you know, you can snowball just as easily. But obviously getting to that part is the hard part. So I think Talon jungle is a bit more consistent. I don't think he's the best jungler, though. So this is just if you want to play Talon and you're wondering, do I play in mid or jungle? I would recommend playing jungle, especially if you want to climb. Because uh, it's like less variables happening. But uh, I mean, both work, right? I, I mean mid. So I like I like Talon mid more. Anyways, back to the video. So I did walls and then Gromp instead of blue buff straight away. And the reason is I want the timers to respawn on my... Small camps first. So here I was gonna actually go to the bot side, scuttle crab, but I thought scuttle crab is already spawning on this side, so I'm gonna take the scuttle crab here and then path down to bot side jungle. So then I can take both. All right. So as you, if you remember, Diego invaded, so he should be behind in his camps because he had to run back to his own jungle and he got pretty low. I'm pretty sure. So here I'm running to my bot camps. Make sure you're looking. Look, see what I'm doing. I'm always looking at mid lane what's happening and I should have maybe waited a bit longer to bait but here Viego doesn't have flash pretty sure and Twist of Fate gets a lovely yellow card and I just press W to help him push a little bit and I'm going to go to the bot jungle to get the bot scuttle so I'm looking at the Zed right he's quite low and this has a huge wave right so what you want to do is if you if you can manage to kill him he's going to miss this whole wave thing is Twist of Fate used blue card so I was like okay never mind but here he's running back so I was like all right I don't want to waste more time and Twisted Fate randomly starts tanking. I don't know if it's Q hit or it was a red buff. But anyways, now I'm looking bot lane, right? You see, I want to do Scuttle Crab, right? Guys, make sure you're looking at the map. Okay, because, you know, if you just autopilot, just start clicking on the Scuttle Crab, it's bad. Uh, so here I should have actually maybe pathed a bit upwards. But I think they already knew I was coming, so I tried to path as quick as possible. My E wasn't the best. Room jumps over. Viego's going to be bot side. So I was like, all right, let's, and let's go back. Abort the mission. Viego might be here. So I was a bit skeptical of doing the Scuttle Crab. But, uh, you know, I, I'm so ahead. So I was like, all right, I'm fine. I'm just going to dip E over the wall. And, uh, yeah. And one thing, guys, if you want to look at the health bar of your teammates without actually looking, you can, if you look at above the minimap on the top right, not bottom right, but on the top right of the minimap, you can see my Varus HP. You can see that he's low, right? So that's just one tip if you guys never paid attention to that. So here I was going to gank bot, but by the time I get to the Karma, she'll be gone. So, I go to my Raptors here, try to get the camps off cooldown, okay? So that's one thing uh, when I'm coaching. So if you guys are interested, join the Discord. But back to the point, what I notice is when I'm coaching, a lot of people, they you know, they clear their camps, right? Initially, the first cycle is very easy. But then the second it starts respawning, you see, look, look at my wolves. My wolves are up, my crumps are up. You know, they, they should be like down the second they spawn, okay? If you want to be most efficient with your gold, and XP, because this is a like guaranteed gold and XP. Uh, but as you can see, right, I spent a lot of time bot lane. And guess what happened? Diego actually invaded me. So I was actually going to go to the top side and look into his jungle. But I don't have smite up and grubs are up. So I thought, let me just prioritize buying my items first. Uh, and I don't want to waste time going into the enemy jungle. So here I'm actually very slow at buying my items. But I was actually wondering, what do I, what do I buy? But yeah, don't do that. Uh, make sure you know what you're going to buy as you, before you recall. That way it's just instant. Because uh, I just wasted five seconds. But thing is, there's no camps on the map. So it's kind of fine. I, I was going to go to Grubs here. But uh, I think I was like, 
there's a chance he's already topside because he took my jungle, so he might be he already might be on it. So I was thinking I'd go to Drake. So here, my red buff spawning because that was the first camp we took. Yeah, I see Zed coming. He's level six, right? So I have to be careful. I go for a quick trade here, just get my bleed, and that basically wins Twisted Fate's lane. Like, Zed just came to lane, and he's already half health, so that's really huge. Uh, and my camps weren't up, so. You know, why not do that? Just make sure you don't die, obviously, when you're doing that. So invade. I mean, he's invading me here. I'm just going to poke, bait him out a little bit, try to get him a bit low. E away. Uh, my team is rotating here. It's really good. And I really wanted to smite this. But Viego gets a Q smite. And I pick up the kill here. And then Zed does his combo. And I quickly just do... Like, so in that situation, if I was to right-click away... Uh, I'm gonna die, all right? Like, I, the only way getting out of that is just basically try to kill him before he kills me, right? Before his cooldowns come up. But that's exactly what happened. Uh, so his, you know, his Zed mark uh, popped and it did no damage because he wasn't able to actually, you know, get any abilities on me before he died. So here I really cool, obviously, I'm low. Even though my Raptors are up. All right, let me go back to my top side. Let me quickly clear those. And Diego, I was thinking, oh, would he come to my Raptors? But the chance of him running to my Raptors just from spawning is very low because it's very risky. And he literally just died. So I was like, yo, I want that Scuttle Crab. I want a full clear, you know, my top side into Scuttle Crab. So Diego, I mean, the Volibear actually gets it low and he pings it. I'm like, oh, you're actually going to give it to me? Cool. So I try to smite this to try to do it as quick as possible. But it, the Scuttle Crab starts respawning. No, not respawning. Uh, healing up, I guess. Forgot the word. Anyways, so I get to last hit this. Oh, it regens. It starts regening. That's the word. So they're on Drake. I'm like, wait, I'm coming. Right. Uh, and I don't mind leaving the blue buff. So I'm hovering here. I see Zed. So he has cleanse, by the way. And I think it's not too bad against Twisted Fate. But obviously he loses that pressure on going Ignite or Teleport. And I think Teleport's better. So do, they do end up getting the last hit here. Diego randomly starts pathing into mid, even though he saw me kill the Zed, right? So it's really weird, but I guess he didn't see me go into the fog of war, into the jungle. I wanted to just heal up or go for an invade, really weird. So I took the opportunity to look. Oh, okay, okay. Zed, um, Diego's dead. He just respawned, so I have time to invade. His Gromp was down, so I wasn't actually going to go to his wolves. But I was like, okay, maybe he just went to Gromp and then... But here, actually get this and then I look at mid uh, see if I, we can do anything here Let's see oh he took the W so I was like okay I'm running in so it's a fate I, my Q follows okay and yeah I'm not able to do anything at that my up but at least we know where Viego is so he respawned I went to the top side so I'm actually gonna do my Raptors and then I was thinking to myself right I can go to my Krogs because I haven't done it this game I'm pretty sure but because he's topside and he's been invading me a lot this whole game, right? I was like, okay, let me just run to my wolves. Okay, I mean, my blue buff. But I didn't want to, you know, leave it to luck if he invades me or not. So I want to make sure I clear this so he doesn't get it. Uh, so that's exactly what I do. And the Krugs is already level one. I mean, if you do kill it, it does level up to the current rank level you are. I think, uh, you're but, uh, yeah, I do this. I recall. Does, nothing's up so top side terrible. and bot side. Silver, so okay, apparently matter. change of plans. Uh, I, I decided to look for a top play. And Viego's actually invading good. again. We're looking to invade. Twister Fate does an awesome job at Gilles, uh, so ulting. Huh. And we get a kill. And then my Gronk spawns and my Wolf spawns. And I'm like, okay, this is as good as it gets. I initiate a fist bump. Uh, we get the Gromp. So I want to gank top. But I probably shouldn't, to be honest. I should just full clear here into a recall because I have so much gold. But um, I'm just, I think I'm going to just do Scuttle Crab into the Void Grubs. So that's why I just hover here. We see this. Volibear pops his ghosts and Kellen just ease away. Really crazy interaction. Anyways, uh, so I do Scuttle Crab. He misses his Q. Uh, I get this. And we already got three Void Grubs, and if I remember correctly, it was Volibear who actually soloed them. So that was really nice of them. So we're going to actually end up getting five, six. 
I don't, I, did I invade? I don't remember, but we'll see. I don't think so, actually. That's a spoiler alert. Anyways, uh, so I get these. Uh, my opinion on Void Grubs, they're really nice. As you basically can just end the game much quicker. And the second, like, an enemy does a mistake, you can basically exploit it really hard. Because, you know, let's just say they go for a bad roam. You just basically crack the whole turret, or you get three, four platings, just because of the fact that you have the void grubs. It's really good. So yeah, I cancel my recall, make like because wave is quite big, right? So Kenan's gonna start moving forward. As you can see, he does actually end up moving forward. But I was thinking to myself, okay, this this gank's not gonna work out. Okay, uh, I'll just let Volibear farm this wave on the turret. There's no point of forcing a play there. My whole jungle's up outside. Let me just go recall, get my item. I have a lot of gold in the pocket go full clear right it's just the most consistent play try not to force plays right yeah i'll say oh crap they're invading and i think i actually flame here and uh, i think i play it quite bad to be honest here like if it's it's because viego was invisible then zed moves let's go back to my top jungle now because i already cleared the red and raptors so go to my wolves full clearing this i have hydra now so it's much easier to clear my jungle really like it so there was a bug with this Hydra item, actually, where it wasn't giving any of the fallacy. And I don't know if they fixed that, but hopefully they did. But either way, uh, I still like the item, so... I purchased it still. But in the jungle, you can just go Hubris and Ghostblade or Axie and Mark. And then if they get armor, you start by Serelders, etc. So it's completely fine. I see Drake coming up. I see my team doing a fight bot lane. And I think this fight bot lane is bad because Viego's not there. It's not top side, so that means he's, there's a high chance he's bot side. And the total volleyball does a teleport play for no reason. It's very forced, and they die. I was going to do Rift Herald, right? Uh, but Drake's up. And I was thinking Cannon's bot lane as well. So if I just push top wave, I could try getting this turret a bit low. Because uh, the whole point of Rift, right, is to get turrets low and destroy, like, you know, turrets. But if I can just auto attack it, why not? And I can get the XP from the top wave, because... Volibear died. So here, I get a cannon, get a turret half health, which is really good. I even get the Krugs as well. So I traded some, you know, gold. And Zai was here somehow, and then I'm like, I wasn't even paying attention, and then I saw cannon here. I was like, oh, okay, time to run away. So they get Drake. My Raptors are up, and uh, I should be running there instantly. So yeah, Brom defends that. So I'm running. And this Twist Fate played very well in terms of like, roaming and moving around the map. So here I'm like, okay, let me flank. They get the kill already, which is nice. And I was going to jump into Karma, and then I see that Zed is there. I'm like, Ooh, let me not do that. I was like, I was, th I was thinking to hover Varus, I think. You see here? Because Zed could be bot lane. But then I see him mid now. But I probably should have kept running bot lane until we saw Zed. Anyways, here I can see that there's two bot lane, and I can help them. Oh, I'll help him, I guess. So I go for it. A flank from behind. Let me use a smite to slow him down. And I need to try to do my combo quickly, so that Varus survives. And we exactly... We do that exactly. And then do my Gromp. I'm doing his Gromp. So I see a fight mid lane. I decide I'd run mid. And I think I actually mess up here. So let's see what happens. So I see Viego running forward. So I'm like, okay, W. And then I... Uh, his move speed was cra kind of crazy, right? And I was gonna... What I was gonna do is... As soon as he runs towards me, I should just ult so he can't see me. So so he can't see see me, and then I just one shot him. Because I have everything up, right? Hydra, Ignite, Smite. Ah, uh, but I kind of mess up. So here, I run to my jungle, and I see that my blue was gone, I think. And I was like, wait, where are they? And then I see him at Rift. So I go to Rift Herald, and there's a crazy fight that's happening right now. I have ult coming up in three seconds. Uh, we're trying to get this Rift Herald. That's, that's why I try to go behind the Rift. But this Vigo is outsmiting me. 
But uh, at least I got my Ignite off and he dies as he flashes away. I pick up a double kill and I go back to my jungle. So even though we're not getting to objectives, we're killing them. So we're just 20 kills ahead. And I think they're just flipping objectives. And it's working, right? Um, but the thing is, uh, they're, they're falling behind in gold. But obviously, if we end up messing up and they have a lot of objectives, they can start coming back. But as long as we just play clean, they can't. So yeah, I just go for a full clear. I picked up Opportunity second, by the way. So I'll talk about that. So I think Opportunity's a really clean item just because of the moon speed you get. Um, and I didn't go Ghost Blade, so I don't really have the moon speed out of combat. So this is like... Well, I think Opportunity actually does give you moon speed outside of combat. Just from a... I think, I don't remember. But I just know when you kill a player, you get a lot of moon speed. And I really like it. And the damage is pretty good, so... There we pick up another double kill. Um, the volleyball did a really good job in tanking. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, the game's going pretty well. I was going to recall here, took his gromp, but then I was like, oh, blue buffs up. I'll take that as well. So you want to try to uh, uh, deny the enemy as much as you can. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so here I have 2k gold. Drake is coming up, right, in 30 seconds, 20 seconds. So I tell my team, all right, guys, let's go for a reset. So we're as strong as possible for this team fight. And then basically this team fight is like the deciding factor because we're like 20 minutes in. Baron's coming up, all right? So I was going to go top like to take my wolves, but I was like, okay, let me just go to Drake, right? It's more guaranteed. There's no point of greeting for one camp. So let me just uh, move to my teammates. I see that Viego's here. I was trying to flank the Varus, so I was like, let me uh, Oracle behind just to protect him. And that's what I do. And I see Zaya here, but I wanted to run to my team. But I was like, okay, Zaya's by herself. Let me just do this. And then I had to be careful of her E. So I was trying to like, you know, go behind the player and get a kill. So yeah, I'm pinging Baron, because I was like, okay, guys. Drake is up, but if we get Baron, we can pretty much end the game pretty soon. So this is more of a priority here. So in this, in this like, situation, if you are in, ever in this you know, scenario, you can go for the Drake, right? Um, because they have like two, three Drakes, I think. So if they get the next one, they're probably, which they are, I'm pretty sure, they'll end up getting free, right? And they're one away from Soul. So it's very risky what we're doing here by giving them the Drake. But... Um, this is kind of like higher ranks. Basically, taking Baron is much easier. And, you know, if, you, if you're sure that you're going to end the game and if it's free. But if the enemy team is basically stacking Drakes, you're going to want to take the Drakes just because it's easier. As if you get to late game with all four Drakes and you get Mountain Soul, it's pretty much GG. But here, they, they go for a Drake fight. Well, they try to take the Drake and we obviously collapse on them. And we do a perfect team fight here. We kill the Zed. And this is the thing with having Baron. The game's pretty much over, right? We are Baron, and we just ace the enemy team. Or Kennen's just top lane. I was just going to type nice team fight, or nice team, whatever. I should have been with my team. I didn't even realize we could end the game, because they were up in 10 seconds. But I guess we're so strong that we can. I go for mid lane here. I'm just proxy farming here, and I was like, oh, the mid turret's low, let me get the gold here. And I'm just looking at my team, and I'm like, wait. Let me, uh... <clears throat> move to my teammates, right? So this is actually my bad. And yeah, we basically end the game here. So if you have any questions, if you want coaching, comment down below, uh, join the Discord, and that's pretty much it.